final push into the heart of darkness. The SOE had recruited the six of us under my command for one reason, to retrieve files on the top secret Project Phoenix, the last gasp of the Third Reich. A coalition of Allied commandos thrown together and aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. This was meant to be our first and only mission. Look at that. Hell of a world. Who's up for saving it? До свидания. Let's go. Showtime. your uncle. Fuck me dead. Now that we've been properly shot at, might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? That submarine base is our final stop. Once we're in, we move to secure the objective. He wants us to secure it, but he won't tell us what it is. Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get-go. This ain't just another Easter egg hunt, is it? Yeah, mate, what's the bloody story? We don't quite know. You mean the SO fucking E doesn't quite know? You know what? I'm gonna go pull the bricks. All we have is a name. Phoenix. <laughs> so we got no idea what we're up against. That's the mission. To find out. SOE says the Krauts are moving something big out of Germany. Could be a document stash. The holiest of holies. We are here to pinch it. If this is so important, why did they not send an army? They did. The six of us. Mate, we're not from the same army. Hell, we're not even from the same continent. Quiet! Get back! Why were we chosen for this fucking suicide mission? Brass handpicked six specialists to hit the crowds fast and get away clean. An army can't do that. Too loud. Too slow. Which is right. They won't see us coming. In and out with those papers before they know it. Do we understand the plan? I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan. Yes, to hell of a party. Looks Phoenix. like they left in a hurry. We must be close. Not for long. Crowds are moving their stash onto a sub. You see that lot lugging that chest? I bet you London to a brick. That is what we're after. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Now we're talking. Wait. We can't go in loud. Arthur? Whatever's in those papers is the best kept secret in the Third Reich. And the crowds kept them here. In the arse end of nowhere. So what? It makes no sense. It's like leaving the crown jewels on the front porch. With hardly anyone watching them. The entire German army should be guarding this place. We're not the only ones who don't know what Phoenix is. You're saying Nazis are keeping secrets from Nazis? I'm saying the ones in charge of the secrets are the most dangerous. Yeah, that's why we brought the guns. To shoot them. Are we done here? Those papers are about to piss off out of Germany. You three? Take the catwalk and make your bloody noise. Buy us time. Webb, no back here with me. We'll take the boat. Arthur, the sirens are stopped. That can't be good. We've got to move. Now, no back, help me.
How delightful. You think you're British? A Cambridge man, through and through. So, you know better than to ruin a man's evening. Beethoven's Fort Sonata has exquisite but demanding passages that deserve my full attention. Unlike you. Does the Negro give orders in English too? And do you follow them? Sie wissen, wie es ist, von einem schwarzen Befehler entgegenzunehmen. Er spricht auch Deutsch! <laughs> 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 Please, proceed. Your Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who looked like me carry guns in your streets. Marry your women. That's what I hear when you speak German. <laughs> Charming. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us, thrashing you again. Thrashing. <laughs> thrashing. What an interesting choice of words. I told you already. Get on with it. Yes. That's what you want. To sacrifice yourself to be a, a leader. <laughs> I am not here to give you what you want. Quite a contrary. You give you motors. What you say? Dispose of that. Put the rest in the truck. Fucking savage! Get your hands off your phone! Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him and on Wade. That bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes, let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. <laughs> Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Freisinger is going to kill us all. Freisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh yeah, what kind of Against Freisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What, because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen them in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day. Right, lads, listen up. We've got until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowd's already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I trade you all for 
for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery. And buy your fare to let the Navy know the job's done. Alright, this is it. You know the drill. Stand up! Hook in! Stand by! Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? Captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick airborne to assemble. Henry said we have till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit-down. Yeah, there's also no muscle and no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. you two scrapping over who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. I think deep down he understood that, and realized we were cut from the same cloth. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make minced meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it. And I think you should go first. <laughs> Alright then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to aim up. Wait, 
Where the hell have you been? Funny time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boys, shall we? soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing the impossible thing that flare told me i'd been right this is what it means to be a leader from all the flags waving on the streets we'd never have known the nazis were about to lose the war but bullies are always loudest when they're scared and when they're desperate they get stupid Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Heil Hitler. What is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, ein, ein! Ich sag dir, beweg dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Palina, Sieg sie so kleine. Da, es kurz wie gar, ja, wie schon. So, I am Hauptsturmführer at Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals, office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress, or unfavorable conditions your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right at the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix 
had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. You must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. Are there other teams like this one? How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herrichter. I understand. Thank you. So. Wir haben euren Freund beim Du beschleusen, ihr Tat! Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign at least. Now make a fuss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. You told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it. But the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drum guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Alina, ich weiß nicht. Who's nice? Joshua Moses. Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement, particularly when it came to Petrova. Petrovia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. Now it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. Wasted. Stuck in the med tent. But, 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 story, story. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodging. Glory is worth nothing when you're dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, 
be nice. I'm always nice. Oh, she's too hot. That hurts. Eh, you did that well enough yourself. The pleatka. Dulin. Bigushka. Kazyol. Shaba. Both of you. I'm going to be late. Sit. Oh, there. Isn't that nice? A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know. You're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papasha. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No, they told me that's not where I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. It would have been nice to have a choice on the map. At least you get to fight. Oh, don't tell me at least. You? Watch it. You're both doing your part. Which reminds me. If any of those who blood could get past you, you know where to send them. <laughs> of course, Papasha. They will never get through. Never. Blin! I need to run. They're waiting for me. Miss, you're... He would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on the way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Spasiba, Papa. <laughs> Forget something? You're a lifesaver. I know. We should be good. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Armies. A bucket. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. Couldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we can't trade places. I would look great in that uniform. At least try to make it back from your bomb making. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. Now. Yes, ma'am. You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself killed climbing around up there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, go, yeah. I'm off to save Misha. As usual. (laughs) 
Стренка, it was incredible. We're going. Now. Господи, I, I was so scared that you and... Me? You're the one tied up? Take care of the others. Оля? He's gone. Gone. Oh no. Misha. No. Misha. No. We don't have time for this. We have to get your recruits out of here. If we stay here much longer, we're trapped. You're right. You're right. Okay. Let's go. I should get you to the roof. I'll give you a boost. I'll find a good place to cover you. I know. You've always been a better shot than me. The Pasha is with me now. And I know he wouldn't want us to die in this post office to a bunch of Ubliotki. He would be proud of you. He would be proud of us. Get our people to the sewer. I'll lay them fire from the roof. Do miss, okay? I never do. Surviving Stalingrad was no small feat. Escaping, even greater. But no one really escaped something like that. The Nazi war machine had touched all our lives, burned away something important. I think that's what made us attractive to the SOE in the first place. But for Polina, the wound was marrow deep. She was destined to return the favor. That had made her the deadliest member of my team. Such a touching story. You couldn't even save the life of your own father. So tell me, why isn't Ivan with an old rifle part of a top secret allied operation? You do not scare me, little mouse. <laughs> you misunderstand me, Fraulein. I do not need you to fear me. I need only your screams. That will convince your friends to talk. Why? Because I am a woman. You're not very good at this, are you? Tell me, what other missions the Allies have in Germany? Nothing worth talking about. So, what is worth talking about, Fraulein? Rising. Go fetch him. We'll confirm my story together. Take her back. Send me all the records on a Commander Steiner and any photographs of the Russian sniper. Lady Nightingale, yes, that one. And with... Herr Freisinger, I was just coming to see you. We have confirmation from the woman. The sixth ally is dead. Is that so? American arrested at Templehof trying to steal a plane. This makes no sense. Prisoners made a fool of you, Richter. And now you have made a fool of me! The American is being brought here now. If I must interrogate him myself, then I have no use for you. Just 
Tron if he knows. What did you tell them? We traded torture tips. Relax. I told the same lies as you. Did he believe you? I stopped asking when I brought up Freisinger. When we get out of here, the first thing I'm going to do is head to the pictures. See les trois mousquetaires. Let Edith Mera break my heart all over again. And you, Lucas? What's the first thing you'll do when we're out of here? Hey. When I get home, I'm eating lamingtons for a week. All cakes, all the time. I know what you miss. Yeah. I'd like to have that sweet bird Barbara pour me pints at my local until I forget this infernal war ever happened. I don't even know if she's still alive. Everyone I love is dead. And the only time I feel anything is when I watch a German beg for his life. So, I am exactly what I need to be. Wade showed up just as I'd hoped. He played his part well without even knowing my plan. The team had written him off, but I was counting on him being his usual charming self. <laughs> Try that again, Crowd. And we're gonna have a real fucking problem. Your team lied about you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Uh, now, is that so hard? Finally, some respect. I know you are the sixth man. Uh, what did you want with that plane? <laughs> you Nazis. You make me miss fighting in the stinking Pacific. Uh, uh. I want to know what else they've lied about! Wade had talked himself out of worse situations. If you heard him talk about Midway, you could tell he was no stranger to hyperbole. Every time Wade told the story, it was a little different. He added a wing of Zeros or another aircraft carrier to his tally. But I read the reports about what happened that day. If Wade was exaggerated, it was only by a little. Remember, our primary objective is destroying the two Japanese carriers. VS and VB squadrons will each take one. Fighting Squadron 6 will provide cover. If the weather holds, we'll be in and out before they know what hit them. This wind will give us a Pacific. Now go out there and get the carriers. As if this operation wasn't hard enough? Now the entire war's on the line? Relax, Hernandez. I was born for this. <laughs> Not too sure I was. Vamos, Jackson. I got you, Jackson. Take us up! How many medals do you think we'll win if we pull this off, Jackson? After today, they're gonna have to name one after me, Miller. Just remember we're a team up there. And stay in formation this time, or the SAG will have both your stripes. Yeah, formations just slow me down. You see what I have to deal with? Look at that. It's a beautiful day to fly. Let's hope it stays that way. It's time! Manos a la masa! A lady awake! Ten bucks says I down more zeros than you, Jackson! Come on, man! Don't encourage! Now, Jackson! Was his contradiction.
prediction. He is one of the war's greatest pilots, but he needed a team. The problem was getting him to admit it. Hitler is dead. What? How? Who is it, the Allies? Reports indicate he took his own life. But without the Führer, we are lost. Hardly. I trust you have new information. Uh, wait. Hmm? As you suspected, the American was the sixth man. But I believe I have finally broken them. It saddens me to see the fatherland defied. I feel the rations, no less. There's nothing left for us here. If the Reich is to live on, I must know there's safe passage to Tempelhof. I was counting on you, Richter. But you've proven non-essential. No! 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 Sir, no! I will get you what you require. I sweat. Your time is short. I understand. Mein Führer. on to us. We're out of time. I, uh... I tried to nab us a getaway plane, but that didn't work. And by the time I got here, you... you guys were already locked up. So I, uh... I borrowed a bomb from the Ruskies and turned myself in. We got about, uh... about an hour before that wall... Blows wide open and we waltz right out of here. If we live that long? I can't trust him. He's just a fucking pilot. A fucking ace pilot is what you mean. I'm with the lady. What the hell do you know about explosives? Yeah? Well, fuck you too, then. I'll tell you why we can trust him. Here we go. Wade's more than capable of getting us out. Files in hand.
this. But if you fly too close to the sun, eventually your wings will get burnt. Get you out of here, but it's gonna hurt like hell. Hey, you're gone. When are you gonna get it through that thick skull of yours? You can't just. Hey, 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 Wade. Wade, you stay with me. Wade, come on, man. No, you're not. Wake up. Wake up. Wade. Nah, nah, today's not the day. I need to find out where we are, so I'm gonna have to leave you here. Think about the Yankees. What? You know I'm a doctor. Son of a bitch! Your bedside manner sucks. You're welcome, pendejo. I need your gun. I lost mine in the crash. The one you caused. What am I supposed to do? Keep yourself bandaged up. I don't want you bleeding out and missing all the fun. I gotta sight till I get back. Do you speak Japanese? Still alive? Yeah. No shit. Got them free. I'm aviation machinist, May third class Hernandez. The ungrateful one's Lieutenant Jackson. We got shot down. That's why we're here. Thanks. Sergeant James Washington, Army, 93rd Infantry Division. Lenny, patch this man up. You got any planes? We need to get back up there. Planes? We lucky they gave us ammo. That one's dead weight. Just gonna slow us down. 
I'm right here. You know how to use a gun? Went through basic just like you. Sarge, we got company! I got control of the stick now, Lieutenant. You're just a little for the ride. Yeah? You're gonna help Private Howard get to that wire. <laughs> and then, you're gonna keep him covered on the other side. Understood? Look, in the sky, I'm your man. But this, I'm not the die face down in the mud type. Then you shouldn't have got yourself shot down. There's a difference between suicide and sacrifice. You do well to learn it. <laughs> Time you got your hands dirty. After you. Finish the job? Check out that. Val dive bomber. You know anyone can fly it? This was your plan all along. My men can take the base. Slow down the Japanese. But if we had someone in the air, wouldn't that be something? I'm your man, Sergeant. I was hoping you would say that. Let's get down there. Do you even know how to land that thing? When's that ever stuck? Time wait! We'll push you out of the hangar. Take this. Cover us while we get you in position. Find us some runway. And we'll handle the rest. Won't be needing this anymore. Show us what you can do, Lieutenant. All right. Let's see. Changed, Wade. They showed the flying daredevil from the clouds what war looked like in the dirt. Down there, he learned the only way to win was to have each other's backs. If you get past this talk and you see his actions, you will know who Wade Jackson really is. I don't care what he did before. Wade abandoned us in Hamburg. I still don't trust him. I get it. But we're not in this shithole because of him. We're in this shithole because some sodding Krauss think they can crack the best team I've ever worked with. Now, we need a plan to get us out of here. We're surrounded by Nazis. Even if we escape, we're gonna be dead before we reach the door. Maybe not. idea we were gonna put on a show for Richter it was a gamble but we'd come too far to give up on getting those files
Alina being next gave us time to get ready. We knew she'd hold her own. Nice to see you again, Fallen. Please. Please. This is exactly what I imagined your weird little office would look like. What your team is planning, Lady Nightingale. Stalingrad, the city that arrested the Nazis' eastern expansion. Had the city fallen, Russia would have crumbled. The Germans underestimated Russia's will to survive. They underestimated the city and her defenders. The people looked to Polina as a symbol of hope. But she didn't want to be a hero. She wanted only vengeance. Stanley's been creeping in all the commercial district. Makes sense. It's never far from the slaughter. Super much. Let's go. Now wait, wait. We should see who they are so we can let their families know. Knife. Short! That's a sniper shot. Precise. What, what you, you think that's... They might be. Okay. There's more cover this way. Come on. We can't strike from here. There's too many of them. Take a look. Shit. Steiner. There, on the right. Bastard. He might be Steiner's superior. Sniper, get down! You okay? Misha! So I just, that doesn't look... Just hold still and let me check. That doesn't sound good. It's not. We don't have time for this, Mrs. Trocha. You hear me? I need to get you somewhere safe to patch you up. You're not going to die here. This knife isn't going to get us out of here. We need to... Please. Please. For all of us. No. You're delirious. Come on. We have to move. Malina, go! No! You cover the opening. I go out and flank them. There is no time. Come, John. Let's get Go. I will slow them down. Oh, good. This time, little bird.
I could help you. Incredible. You're all the same. I've killed more of you than I can count. And you all spout the same pathetic bullshit. Rising. Is he supposed to scare me? Another piece of fascist filth. Don't worry. I'll hunt him down next. You thought you'd take my city and crush my people. You tried to break me, but you failed. You created Lady Nightingale. And now, she's destroyed you. Infamous Lady Nightingale brought Stalingrad back from the brink. Her actions inspired the Russians to take back their city and go on the offensive. Polina changed the course of the war for the Allies and her people. With that reputation, it was only a matter of time before we found her. What would Freisinger want with a lowly officer on the Eastern Front? What does it matter? It matters a great deal to me, Fraulein. Freisinger was recruiting Steiner for some special project. Project Phoenix. Could be. All I know is... I was sent to kill Freisinger. There's gotta be a better way out of here. There is no way out of here. Unless, of course, you have decided to do the intelligent thing. Open that door back up, and I'll show you the intelligent thing. You can get me out alive? What? I can. <laughs> you two-faced bastard. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. Typical Aussie. No honor, no loyalty. Raise this up. I ain't gonna be the next sacrifice in your crusade, Tommy. I hope your plan was worth it. Break a leg, Vickers. I thought you'd be the one to put an end to your team's foolish agenda.
You killing each other now, are ya? Sula! Sula! from a Negro either. <laughs> you got it all wrong, mate. No, don't follow. I don't care what colour his skin is. Haven't you heard about the Aussies and the Brits? We were the pieces of shit flushed down the Crown's dunny. Yes, yes, of course, but your nations are allies. It was more like master-servant. I did what I did because to every Brit, folks like me are expendable. Subordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. That's Lucas. You had to credit the SOE. They were very good at spotting talent in the unlikeliest of places. And Lucas had talent. He was a skilled demolitionist with an explosive temperament and a sharp tongue. Out there in the desert, the rats of Tobruk were like a family. Unfortunately, they never did figure out how to get along with the brass. Today, Princess? I'm savouring the moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Of course you are, Your Highness. Hey, Bluey, wake up. You're going to want to see this one. Oh, fuck me. Play the damn cards. <laughs> All right, Des. Read them and wait. Oh. Fucking donkey! No way! Why the bloody hell aren't you at your post? Uh, Major Hames, we thought... You thought you'd muck around. Major, convoy's approaching. Right. You rats, follow me. Try and act like real soldiers for once. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Three... See? That's what a real soldier looks like, mate. <laughs> oh, what a way to stand up to him, Bluey. Good job, buddy. Fuck off, Dez. What's Dez even doing here in the first place, huh? He's a major. <laughs> Australian private and a group of rats had given Rommel a huge black eye. Their action should have earned them medals and maybe even a shred of respect. Hams didn't see it that way. Their reward was some time in the brig. However, all Richter seemed to care about was Rommel and his connection to Freisinger. That fool would listen to Lucas as long as we needed him to. did Freisinger want with Rommel? I thought you wanted to know about our team. Answer me now or our deal is off. Okay, okay. Don't get your undies in a twist. Lucas piled it on like a champ. He didn't have to tell Richter anything more than the lies that Nazi already told himself. That was the Third Reich for you. Their reality was delusion. You'd think we'd need a miracle for Lucas to pull this off. The thing is, he was like a magnet for that kind of luck. There's that saying about lightning striking twice, yet Lucas had managed to find himself first at Tobruk and then at El Alamein. The world knew of an Allied victory in North Africa. But it wasn't because of British commanders or mighty tanks. Lucas had the untold story, and Richter was eating it up. Hey, 
Got himself a big stiffy today. He must smell a promotion. After the intel that we dropped on that plane track, this is the plan that he comes up with. Buckley's chance is gonna work. What's he saying, Jacobs? Oh, he's personally thanking you and Des for being stand-up chaps. It's stuffed. It's king and country. It's always king and country. <sighs> Bloody hell, is that what I think it is? Where'd you swipe that from? Found it lying around. If he catches you with that, you're a dead man. I'll drink to that. Bloody hell! Wake up, mate. Oh, oh. Come on. I got you. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. The Major, we're being torn apart. I gave you an order. Form the perimeter. Protect the armor. Sir, you gotta be bloody joking. We will hold this line. Our air support is fucked. We don't deal with those flat cannons, there's not gonna be a fucking line! You have your orders! Fuck the orders! We are taking that hill! Hello? Yeah, I got me, and I got Des. Fucking oath. Here, take this! You clear those flat cannons, shoot this flare nice and high, then I know to radio our bombers. Good luck! Let's go! Sometimes... The only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. That's what I told Lucas when we first met. War had taught us both that lesson. The rigid hierarchy of Allied Command would look at Lucas and see only character flaws. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. He was perfect for my team. Even if he does have a mean right hook. Lucas played his role perfectly. He had Rick distracted and doubting everything he thought he knew. Are you all right, mate? You, you're looking a little bit pastier than usual. Kiss. This was... This was... Never about winning the war. This was never about winning the war. This was a coup. This was a coup. Temple off. That's how he's getting them out. Taking the Reich underground. Oh, wait a minute. You're not part of the plan, are you? Well, it looks like we're both going to end up on that meat pile back there. One thing I learned studying Allied strategy, redundancy. Always have a plan B. With the Soviets invading the city, Lady Nightingale will be my leverage. I will exchange her for my own safe passage. Well, that's one hell of a plan, Fritz. It probably would have worked. Fucking blade! No, no, no. 
please. I will let you go. <laughs> you made one mistake, but it was a bloody ripper. <laughs> you thought you cracked us. Redundancy, mate. Always have a plan B. <laughs> I've just received word. We have safe passage from Berlin. Three years we have waited for this moment. Many good men were lost. Rommel, Steiner, Itzel. But I promised you, Project Phoenix would succeed. Hitler has paid for his weakness. And now history will remember him as we do. A failure and a coward. The Red Army is nearly upon us. <laughs> and Berlin is burning. But from the ashes shall rise our vision for something greater. the Fourth Reich. Hey, boss! Your plan worked! Hey there, buddy. Remember me? Looks like you got a fan. What do we do with them? I can think of a few things. <laughs> Figured you'd want the honors, boss. No! No! This is your chance. Project Phoenix! I can get you the evidence! Shh! You've already done your part. <laughs> right of the suprasternal notch. Below the clavicle. <laughs> That's for Richard. Thinks Freising a killed Hitler. Yeah, he's taken the Reich underground. How's he getting out? Temple off air. Come on, kid, shit's on fire out here. Look, we can get out right now. Get ourselves on the first transport, be home in time for supper. Or we can end this. Hunt down Freisinger, bury the Reich for good. We might not make it out of Berlin, but neither will the Nazis. Whatever we do, though, we do it together. Freisinger is not leaving Berlin. Suppose me Lemmingtons can wait. Wait? Hey, it's not every day you get a chance to kill a Fuhrer. You can't turn that shit down, right? <laughs> After you, Lady Nightingale. Just so you know, I still haven't ruled out killing you all. You're a lucky bugger. Hey, Rich, can you take out those panthers? Yeah, I'd love to, but those MGs will blame me to shit first. That building over there. I can get in, find a window, clear the gunners out of the courtyard. I might like you after this. Do it. Wait, Lucas, you're with me. Polina? We're counting on you. As you should.
shots for Lena. Sounds like they're expecting us. Hey, Lucas, you got a banger for me? Give him me, best. Again, it'll be too soon. I can't believe I'm agreeing with you on something. Glad we're all getting along. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> you cannot kill me. And yet here we are. And even the allies. Would leave their decision to inferior such as yourself. We need him alive, boss. The intel he's got's what we came for. Hey, shoot him or bring him. I'm starting this plane. He'll never talk. Get up! Your nations will make sure I'm well taken care of. As payment for my cooperation. Feast for a new beginning. The life of American luxury might suit me. Perhaps I might even start a new family. Not for you. There is no starting over. This is your new beginning. Fascist guy has been ya. And you even know who I am! The value I can provide! You're not worth it. Suppose that's it then. Let's get out of here. How we looking out there? Gonna be dicey. Just how I like it. Hey, we're back in business. That's it. Let's take a look. The Cape Verde Islands, the Bahamas, Argentina. Even Antarctica. Christ. These bastards have been plotting covert operations all over the world. Right under our noses. Are you luck? Give this a gander. Here we go! We hit the bloody jackpot. <laughs> Come on. Dig in. How about this? Project Nova. I can beat it. Project Ether. Reviving the dead. <laughs> Does anyone want some Nazi gold? Looks like we're going to be busy. Keep going. Open them all. There you are. I was about to try this autopilot and come back. What's Project Aggregate? Secret B2 rocket facility. <laughs> you think you could fly one of those? Ha! I could fly anything. Hang on back there! Fucking wait. <laughs> Our mission was complete. But there'd be more. 
forged in the fires. We were the tip of the spear. We were the vanguard.